Introduction Ramesh is a bright boy, eight years of age. He studies in a government school. Today he has accompanied his mother to the parent-teacher meeting. The teacher has one complaint. Ramesh takes leave frequently. As a result, his class and homework are incomplete. If he continues to be regular at school, he may have to repeat the class. Ramesh's mother knows the reason for his absence. They live in a slum area. Ramesh falls ill frequently because of his unhealthy surroundings. However, Ramesh's mother cannot understand how she can improve their surroundings. Let us understand how we can keep our surroundings and ourselves clean. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define hygiene Explain the ways to maintain domestic, neighborhood and community cleanliness Learn about the system of waste disposal in cities List the three R's of waste management Hygiene Hygiene means cleanliness of one's own body and the surroundings. We must practice hygiene to maintain good health, lead a good life. Personal hygiene Personal hygiene involves keeping one's teeth, hands, nails, hair, body and clothes clean. That is not enough. A clean body in a dirty surrounding can take ill. So it is important that we keep our surroundings clean as well. Personal hygiene and cleanliness of surroundings go hand in hand. Domestic hygiene Cleanliness of surroundings begins with domestic hygiene. It involves keeping our homes neat and clean. We can maintain domestic cleanliness by making sure that there is no stagnation of water in our houses. The toilets and sinks are clean. The drainage pipes are clear. Old and useless items are discarded. Kitchen and other household wastes are disposed of every day. Neighborhood Cleanliness From domestic cleanliness, we move to neighborhood cleanliness. To keep our neighborhood clean, we must ensure that the roads, parks and grounds are cleaned daily. There is no stagnation of water on roads, parks, etc. The drainage pipes are clear. There is proper disposal of waste in public dustbins. Community Hygiene Next, we must ensure community hygiene by keeping public places like hospitals, railway stations, bus stands and cinema halls clean, making medicines and vaccines available to people to cure and prevent diseases, keeping city clean. It is not enough to maintain personal, neighborhood and community hygiene. It is also our responsibility to keep our city clean. We can keep our city clean by ensuring that there is proper disposal of city waste, non-biodegradable substances like polythene are not used, waste is dumped in dustbins, there is no spitting on roads, waste disposal in cities. Let us understand how waste is disposed of in cities. The waste from our homes is first collected and treated in municipal sewage treatment plants and only then disposed of into water bodies like rivers. Waste treatment ensures that rivers are not polluted. Raw sewage collected from all over the city is first passed through a system of filters placed in machines. Filters help separate debris from heavy particles. The debris is then pumped into another tank where the remaining solid material settles down. The settled material is called sludge. The leftover liquid is drawn out, is treated with chlorine to make it germ-free and released into a river. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Wastes harms our environment. It is important that we control and handle waste with care to keep ourselves healthy 
and our environment clean. To achieve a pollution-free, clean environment, we must practice the three R's of waste handling. Let us learn about them in detail. Three R's of waste management. The first R stands for recycle. Recycle is to process old, used items in a way that they can be used to make new products. For example, items made of glass, plastic, newspapers, aluminium cans and batteries can be recycled to make new products. The second R stands for reuse. Reuse is to use an item more than once. Plastic cups, plates and utensils etc are usually disposed of after a single use. Instead, we must reuse them after washing. The third R stands for reduce. Reduce is to decrease the use of substances that harm the environment. For example, we must buy larger packs of toothpastes, dishwasher detergents, cereals, etc. and reduce the quantity of packaging material. Now Ramesh's mother has understood how she can keep her surroundings clean. She has decided to educate other slum dwellers about the importance of cleanliness, keep their surroundings germ-free and their children healthy. Which of the following habits are good to practice? Click the buttons against habits that are good to practice. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Hygiene means cleanliness. We must keep our neighborhood, community and the whole city clean. Personal hygiene involves keeping our body, clothes, teeth, hands and nails clean. We must keep our neighborhood and community clean by disposing of waste properly. The city waste is treated in municipal sewage treatment plants before disposal. Reduce, reuse and recycle are the three R's of waste management. By practicing the three R's of waste management, we can ensure a clean environment and good health.